All right, so I am in Hendricks Park, bright and early in the morning, really bright and early. It's uh, not eight o'clock yet. Don't tell anybody I'm not supposed to be here. The park is closed. Shut it down. Um, you know, making sure if anybody sees me, they know I'm an American. Hey. Hey, are you supposed to be here? So, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thought I would just, uh, yeah, actually, so while I'm walking, it's, it's super quiet, so of course I'm, I'm like whispering, because, you know, I don't want to just wake the trees up. Not really sure what I'm seeing off in the distance as far as the part of the city that appears through all of the trees. Look at this. This is why. This is why you end up like being like, but I can't quit you, Oregon. Your trees are so beautiful. You know, I can't quit you. But, um, and, and you get why there's these people who they're like, I'll hunker down in the ex exurbs until the madness passes, you know, kind of people. You know, we will get through this. We've done, gotten through more than this before, you know. So I can feel the uh, chill in the air does seem to indicate. And, and when there's certain ways that when drops start to hit you, you can feel the density you know, as the years go on, you get used to that, that kind of, kind of drizzle that's obviously really what would be considered warm. But then there's that type of way that water will come down, that it's dense, it, it's at that four degrees, the density of four degrees. Um, and so you could be like, oh, okay, so it's freezing probably somewhere way up there. But then, at a certain point, it melts on the way down. Uh, so, uh, there, yeah, I wish I could get to a vantage point. I can show you this amazing, amazing image of the far mountains with beautiful snow coverage on them. Looking great. Wow, this is a hell of a trail. I like this. This is a great trail. It's well taken. This is the thing. People here will manage trails really well. That doesn't take, like, not teaching kids how to do math and read. You know, it, you know that I keep harping on that. That galls me so much. And it really, the reason I actually thought about this, I worked at those jobs that you are in while you go to education school. So I would get to hear these women who eventually become school teachers. And I mean, and if there's four of them, there's three of them that I'm like, you're just pretty girls who are a little lazy and kind of, and kind of clever, you know? And I mean, really it was like, I mean, yeah, there's out of four of them, there's only one who I'm like, one, you, I, yeah, you would probably be a great teacher. And she's like, yeah, I teach little, tiny, itsy-bitsy children. I'm like, ooh, an area that I think burst into flames. And then they got harvested or something. Can't quite, I'm not sure if I'm really getting it now. All right, you can see it. And, uh, oh, a little, little structure. Oh, and now I'm passing houses. So now I'm heading back toward a street, I think. Interesting. Okay. Because that's not really what I want. I was hoping I would get to, like, a higher vantage point. And I think I took the wrong trail. This one, one fork in the road way back there that I think that uh, it was supposed to go down the other trail. But let's see what's at the end of this trail. I have adventures. And so sure enough, that one girl ends up um, 
eventually having like a kid or two, but uh, it was one of those people who it's like, yes, this is practice for you to be like a super dank mom. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is going downward. So that's not what I want. I want upward toward the top. Um, and and the, these other three that I'm like, they would, the way that they would not like children... And, and that what this really kind of, to me, sort of translated to was sort of this desire to be in control. And then all three of them seem to have this sort of tendency toward, like, thinking people don't understand how fucking smarter than I, you know, like, you don't get how smart I am. Um, people think just because I get by on my looks that I'm not smart. You know, and, and I get that. I get, yeah. And it's like, yes, school teachers are obviously at average and above, slightly above average intelligence in general. But it's also one of these things of that, well, but when you all literally just simply drop the standards for your bill, for your outcomes, and you're allowed to, and then everybody stands up and applauds. I mean, at some point, maybe you're being praised because you're lazy, pretty girls. <laughs> or in mom school. And, uh, and, you know, come on now. Maybe it is what it actually seems like. And you shouldn't be angry at anybody but yourselves. Instead of everybody, you know, who's paying, paying a pretty penny to keep that system going. Um, now it's the up part of that uh, awesome part of the trail. <laughs> Gotta climb a hill both ways. So, I'm uh, only now at this point kind of fascinated in seeing what comes of one China's fallout with its real estate its real estate market is doing funny things um the there's just enough entry into buying rentals by really large firms. But it's not much. I mean, it's really tiny. It's just enough. Sizable enough investment. That there's something to the idea that there's, it's a, it's a good thing to invest in rentals. Then I'm interested in seeing what's going on with EV. Something that, yeah, just something funny, something really funny about how much this is being sold up, and I mean, and I'm like, sitting back, I'm just like, I got this feeling, this sounds like other miracles, this is starting to have that quality of the miraculous nature of this vehicle that's going to save everything and there'll be all these electric cars and like where are we getting these precious where are we getting this material from does anybody understand what's going on with these batteries I'm starting to learn about the disposal of these batteries and how these cars have to be dealt with when they're done and uh, I'm, I'm like amazed that no, no going back to some kind of simpler, extremely simple design that can almost be universally tinkered with. No. Then people wouldn't constantly have to buy new electric cars. <laughs> nope. See, because if you use a combustion motor, it is taboo and makes it instantaneously not good. 
It is combustion. It is, it is tainted with the power of bustion. That's a big one now. Taboo. Tainted by a taboo thing. We're, we're even seeing it now, like, talked about with porn stars who want to get married and have kids and have a normal life. Porn girls, porn actresses, prostitutes, <laughs> whatever. And that, uh, but it's like, no, but now I'm tainted. They're, 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 they're taboo. They've done that. They've done that, which is taboo. Now, what's interesting is porn is a great indication of true taboo. It is both something that OnlyFans is encouraged as a remunerative field. We call these people stars. <laughs> and we name them after celestial bodies. Um, and uh, once they venture into the realm of the taboo, that they become one of the or orgiastica or whatever, um, they are then both tainted in both ways. Tainted, ooh, interesting. I think I was correct. My summation earlier that this was not the wisest of choices for me to make at this time of the day. <laughs> Somebody thinks that they could guess what I just saw on the trail. That, uh, I had this real bad feeling. I keep thinking something is watching me. Yep, I think, I think I know what I just saw on the trail. Interesting. That wasn't there when I was going the other way. <laughs> Boy, that's a weird feeling. That is a weird feeling. I think you were at the fork of the road here. That's where you first saw me. You followed me and I went, yep, okay. Good to know. Maybe I won't go all the way to the top then. Maybe that won't be the choice I will make this morning. Okay. Go to a territory that's a bit more familiar to me, Mr. Two Legs. So. <laughs> Wouldn't that be content, huh? So, the uh, taboo quality of the uh, porn actress. That she gets to this point, yeah, it wasn't this fork in the road, it was that one. Um, that, you know, that now she's, you know, damaged goods. It's like, and it's this thing of no, you will be recognized and desired but desired in a way that is forbidden is not meant to be discussed openly in public a man does not want now here's the interesting thing though is that if it's just a beautiful woman that a man has men would look upon her with desire desire to do probably all those verboten things it's just they would have no idea if she has ever done them. Or in this case, they know. And they've watched it. And that's, that's what makes it a specific taboo. Now the thing is, once you walk through this way, it said, well, so is it illegal? It is, so it's not illegal. And this was really something Briefol got into. The, these ideas. It's... it's not that it's against some kind of law. It's just that that is the nature of that thing or that action. It is taboo. And, uh, and therefore, um, you know, you're not supposed to do it. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, another people had my idea.
Okay. Morning. Hello. Hello. I think down this path, I think there's a mountain lion wandering around over here. Okay. Now, unless you guys went this way and somebody took a poop. Okay, because something, I came down this way, was like, oh, this isn't the path I wanted. Came back and there was some on the path that wasn't there before and I had this bad feeling. <laughs> just now and that's why i'm like okay i'll just i'll all right i'll just wander where i know a little <laughs> hey but i'm not sure you know I, i'm not sure but yeah have a good have, and merry christmas <laughs> yeah i'm still in love I'm, I'm still in love with oregon still in love you know, it's uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's still a really good place, good folks. The, here we had uh, the Silver Dollar Club and the Nile. And what was funny is the Nile at one point was called the Alaskan Bush Company, and they would always have these ads out front for steak, five dollar steaks on some day. I would be riding my bike. I wonder why this place is always advertising steak. Like, and, and it looked like a kind of a warehouse building. There's no, no windows or anything, you know. I'm like, I wonder what the deal is with that. I'm really confused about what Alaskan Bush Company finally. I'm riding by. It's like 5.30 in the morning. There's semis rolling by while I'm in the bike lane. I just, you know, I'm like, oh, I hate this, oh, it sucks. And then suddenly, Alaskan Bush Company. Got it. And I burst out laughing. Everybody at work thought this was just hilarious. I didn't quite understand. I said, dude, I could not figure out why they always were offering such great deals on burgers and steaks there. That's the kind of naivete He's like 27 or 28 years old, dude. And I had like been raised partially in the tenderloin of San Francisco. I mean, like, so it's not like I hadn't seen a, a, like these, you know, a strip club or something. But I had never been interested in them. You know, I was like, oh, naked women. Like, yeah, I mean, but I mean, you're in a... Okay, you're in a bar with dudes and there's a naked chick. I don't know. I it just <laughs> I mean it just not it's just not Yeah, I was like this, this is not my bag. I'm just not I don't know why. I just something about it seems seems seedy, you know, and then as time went on I was like, Oh, I'll go and watch a burlesque show after work and drink like a fish. And uh but uh, one time I got to really see one of these strip clubs, and it was just one of those where I'm like, Whoa, oh, oh, this is, this is seedy, yeah, this is, this is fucking creepy, little creepy people up in here, you know, it was weird, it was a weird place, and uh, somebody told me to join them for a drink, because it's somebody's birthday, and uh, it was, but it was actually a really good meeting for it, it, a lot about things in my life that that really changed stuff like if I hadn't met this person and then that person and that person and then these things got discussed and <clears throat> so uh, that's the way life is you can't you know why yeah I like that in our, our pretenses in cinema we could uh, you know go backwards in time and do things again but nah you know, no, 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 no. It happened the way it happened. And it's just fascinating trying to make it work, you know. But anyway, uh, verboten and taboo, uh, it was something like the body count, the woman's body count, and this being uh, a thing that's both uh, taboo, but it's, and it's in both ways, a good and a bad. She's good and bad. But that means she's had to practice, you know, like anything, it's a skill. Or she watches a lot of porn and has been waiting to unleash that on you, which is very, very unlikely. You know, it's that, you know, it's, it, yeah. 
So, you know, that's, that's also one of those things about, and, and that's what the whole dating is. It's key to dating, you know. Is she good in, in the sack, you know? And so, um, yeah. And, and that, that's a taboo, that's a, it's a tab, it's a taboo thing in all ways. To bring it up, it, it's, it's just the general taboo. And this would be something that would be hard to describe. It, that, that was something actually I was thinking about this morning. This would be hard to describe. There's also racial subjects are becoming taboo in a way. This idea like where, you know, there's this discussion of black men dating white women and yada, yada, yada. And it's, but like nobody's discussing like all the uh, Hispanic men or men of Hispanic descent that are uh, picking up on all the black women. You know, like, you're not hearing even black women say, well, no, I I like dating Hispanic men, you know, um, because they love going dancing, you know, and and they like big butts and they cannot lie, you know, or something. We all love, you know, chicken and and they like red beans and rice and and their food is dank, you know, (laughs) like, um, that's not... You're not seeing it, and, and this is something that actually I, I've been worried about. I, this is actually something that concerned me a long time ago, but I kind of put it out of mind because I'm like, you're, you're a bachelor who is this ambiguously ethnic American. You're going to grow old and do your thing, whatever. But finally, there, as I've seen you know, black Twitter happen and BLM and all stuff, I was like, you know, is nobody really asking why that's not happening? A new wave of a racial admixture where it's some other group of men marrying black women in large enough numbers that you see it a lot. Is that not making, is that not weird to people that you're not seeing that? And, and this is before the numbers started coming out from dating apps. And that this is this taboo subject. That it's... Because of then the claims made by especially black nationalists and Tariq Nasheed people and stuff. The, oh, the intense desire the white men had for the black women and that they would, you know, and that's why there's all these high yellow black people and this and that. That it's, um, well, because of course it couldn't be that you could have such relations and that they weren't that odd um, in some places at certain times, and then as time went on, customs some kind of changed, um, because you're not seeing that now in the market. You're not seeing in the market this widespread turn toward racial admixture where men of other groups are picking black women, and all these groups would have existed before in the Americas, um, so it undercuts that argument. But, uh, morning. morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, but it was, this was just a thought that was running through my mind. Because it's taboo. You are not, it's important in a sacred way to some people. But it's verboten uh, in, in, in another sense. Um, and that to discuss it, to bring it up, taints. The, the space and and makes the space it, well really um, it, it, it brings bad juju to the space it makes it unsafe an unsafe space um, yeah and especially I like that I, I, I like the bad juju uh, kind of thing you know the obeya you know and hearkening on this language around obeya and and uh, conjure and stuff like that because it, it makes it, it then it makes it makes sense you know because people who are into all that are into obeya and conjure and stuff because I've more than I've I've known people like that <laughs> like, they, uh, literally I mean quite literally they recommended conjure sites because there was something I was looking for in folk uh, folk stuff like that of, of the south but all right so Merry Christmas you all take care